Hey, what's up? Sam here from MoneyGerald.com and welcome to my two-part series where I'm going to show you how to make a website. So through this series, you can expect to go above and beyond making a simple blog, but we're actually going to make a full-blown web production. If at any point you get confused, you can browse on over to MoneyGerald.com forward slash website where I've documented absolutely everything in this tutorial and more. So in part one, I'm going to show you how to get your domain and hosting, set up a simple WordPress configuration in just a few clicks, and get it live online for 7.125 billion people to see. In part two, we'll dig deep into designing and developing your website that looks and functions like a $30,000 website. The best part about part two is that you won't need to know a single piece of code. So part one is hosted here on YouTube to get you set up, but you'll have to head on over to moneyjournal.com forward slash web design for my full design tutorial. The tutorial is completely free, and if you want to sign up for my free crash course on starting your online business, then you'll get the video tutorial on designing your website, along with a bunch of free business planning and marketing resources that I've put together. There's no strings attached, but I thought material this good is better suited for my community at moneyjournal.com. So without further ado, let's get the framework of your website set up here in part one. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to moneyjournal.com forward slash resources and scroll down until you see the Bluehost logo. Now Bluehost is the web hosting company that I use and will be using for all of my tutorial videos. And so when it comes to price, quality, uptime, uh, and customer service, I have not found another hosting company that can compete. And uh, just to be completely transparent, if you purchase Bluehost through my link, then I will get paid a small commission for referring you, but it doesn't come at any extra charge for you. And in fact, my link is offering Bluehost at a discounted rate right now for as low as $3.95 a month with a free domain. And domains generally cost about $10, uh, 10 to $14, I guess. Um, but prices might change if you're watching this video at a later time. So if $3.95 per month works for you, then great. So what I'll do now is I'll set up my stopwatch here and we'll get started. All right. So first thing is you're going to click on the Bluehost link here. And you can see that it's as low as $3.95 a month. We'll hit the Get Started button. And the starter plan starts at $3.95 per month, and that is if you go on a 36-month plan. It comes with one website and some limits on capacity, but I'm going to go with the plus plan because it comes with unlimited websites, unlimited web space, unlimited bandwidth, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose my domain, so I'm going to call it WatchMeMakeAWebsite.com. And you can see that the domain name is available here. Uh, and so you need to fill out your account information. And I'm just going to pre-fill this here. And I'm just blanking this out for security. And I'm going to go on a 12 month. And I'm going to uncheck this. Any of these you can get at a later time if you want. You don't need it right away. And the, OK. And so we're going to enter in the credit card information here. And I'm going to hide this as well just for privacy. And you got to confirm and click next. And they're just processing the payment. Okay, and then they're going to try to upsell you a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm okay. All right. Uh, so now we need to choose a password. Okay, so I'm just going to make my password here. And create it. And then you can just log in here. Under Website Builders, you can see that there's a WordPress button here. So we're going to click that. And then click on the Install button. Click check domain. And we'll just change the title here to watch me make a website. And I'm going to copy the password. Click that I've read the terms and conditions. And click on install. 
And this is where the majority of the time is going to go, is it's just in waiting. And so in just a second, here we go, uh, you'll see that Bluehost is setting up WordPress. So you can click on that X and just click on View Details and you can see the whole progress of them installing WordPress. It's pretty cool. Uh, so it's already begun and now this should probably take about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And so after this is done, we're going to hit up the home page. You're going to see that it looks a little bit dull, uh, but not to worry. We'll cover on making it absolutely gorgeous in part two of the series. And uh, from there, we'll log in, we'll make our first post, and we'll change our password. So you can see that it's done. I've gotten an email confirmation, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to watchmemakeawebsite.com. Looks pretty dull. It has a hello world. Scroll down until you see login uh, under the meta category. And I'm going to put in the username that Bluehost set up for me and just paste in my password that was set up for me as well, which I'll change. Uh, and before I actually do anything, I'm going to change the password. So you go under users and all users, click on the actual username, and I'm going to set up a nickname for myself, and I'm just going to call myself Sam. Um, and the password, I'm going to put a new password and just verify it, update the profile. Then we're going to head over to posts. You can see the hello world one that's there. And this is my first post. Awesome. Okay, well, I'll add a little image here. So all you got to do here is just drag and drop an image from a folder and just let it go. And then you insert it into the post. Yay. We set up our first post using Bluehost. Uh, my name is Sam from moneyjournal.com. All right, so we'll just add some styling to this, basically like Microsoft Office. And then to add a link, you click on this, and we'll put a link back to moneyjournal.com and publish the post. And you can see that the post was published. All you gotta do is click up here, and it'll take you right to the home page. And you can see that the new post is up here. Uh, if you click here, then it'll take you on over to moneyjournal.com. If you want to go back to the admin, you just click here and that's it. And we're back to the admin page and we still have seven seconds to spare. And so that's it. Uh, hopefully this tutorial has helped you out and you're able to get your website going. Uh, again, my name is Sam. I'm from moneyjournal.com. All of the links are provided below if you are not watching this directly from my site. If you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook. My Facebook page is below as well. And you can always ask questions there, and uh, I'll do my best to, uh, to get around to your questions and help out. See you in part two. Have you ever fell? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh.